All right, welcome back, everybody. It's your boy, Motivane Dan, and we are back at it again with another deep dive for the night. Physical melee attack with secondary lightning attack. It's a worst scenario only trap, so. Eh, but as far as the worst scenario traps, pretty fun to play with this one and the priestess as well. Uh, to unlock the unique upgrades, you got to kill 500 enemies. You have increased health and reduced ability cooldown. Not a lot to say about it. Yeah, when you run increased health, I mean, you have a similar issue to the archers, to the guardian archer, right? Where when you, when they're damaged, they have to regen all of their health, but their health regen isn't based on their max health. It's just a flat amount. So yes, he might survive longer, but is it worth it? Because then he takes longer to come back. That's the question. Who knows? Who knows? With the Guardian, like the Guardian Archer, the Knight also struggles targeting enemies late game. Sometimes if there's too many enemies, uh, they won't retarget correctly or within a good amount of time. Some enemies won't target the Knights. Obviously, Kobolds won't, but I mean, in the group, you know, they have an aggro cap as well. And even if you have enough Knights for everyone, some people will still walk through. So, you know, they're not a surefire way of doing it, of dealing with stuff, but, you know, they're there and, uh, and they can definitely work. Um, especially if you're fighting alongside them to kind of catch those stragglers, um, for sure. We had some fun with them whenever we did Endless on uh, Mage Tower. Um, putting those out there with... Uh, oh, uh, yeah, it was, endless, it, was, it was Endless Scramble Mage Tower, and we had so much money. We were throwing knights and priestesses and flips and everything. Um, it's pretty funny. Also, one of the things to know about them, I think they fixed it, but they used to chase tornadoes. So when you had a tornado active, they would go and chase it to attack it. <laughs> because it would show up, the tornado itself would show up as like an enemy icon on the on the mini-map. And knights would go around and try and hit it, but they couldn't do any damage to it. So, yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> I think now it's changed. Now ogres go and attack it, uh, but I'm not too certain on that. Um, but anyways, so the knight... Yeah, um, let me know if you guys use them. I think a lot of people have used them and probably like them, and I think they're in, good, in a good place. I don't think I would change anything about them except for fixing all the targeting issues that happen um, with a lot of enemies or whatever. All right, let's jump into the game files. All right, the first thing in the, in the game files we got to talk about is coin value is 4,200. Base health is 2,000. Sight radius is 2,500. Divided by 150, you get the grid squares. Grid squares, the size of a footprint of a... Guardian Archer. These guys do take up 2x2 two two, um, for the platform that they stand on. Uh, let's see here. We also have um, secondary cooldown is 30 seconds, so it can use that secondary attack, which is a line of lightning uh, every 30 seconds. We'll look at the upgrades. Um, here we have the base speed is 800. Um, you can check the wiki on all the enemies just to kind of get a good idea of how fast it is compared to enemies. Lifespan, six seconds, not sure. Headshot, damage scale, not sure. Um, you know, theoretically, you could maybe turn them into enemies with a mod. That'd be kind of cool, right? Have them attack you instead of uh, instead of being on your side. I don't know. Um, it has an aggro radius. Uh, we saw that already. Aggro drop delay of 2.5. And it takes uh, half damage from physical attacks. So... That's most enemies are, are physical. There are a few fire attacks. Um, <clears throat> by a few, I mean there's one. The fireling does fire damage when it explodes. And then, of course, you have the bats. Uh, bats do uh, elemental damage as well. Okay, and then we have the two abilities. The Guardian Knight primary is auto attack. Its ability, uh, enter and exit range is uh, four, 350 to 450. Um, damage is 35, so that's the thing to know about that. Uh, radius is uh, 450 there. We saw that already with the ability exit range. Um... <clears throat> okay, the cooldown for the second is 30 seconds. We've seen that already. Here's the intern exit range, 650. Again, divided by 150 grid squares. That's what you get. Uh, damage is 120 for the secondary as well, with a radius of 300. And, and we'll take a look at the wiki page. I've filled all the information. And then here under status effect uh, protos, we have the Guardian Knight heal. This is how much uh, the Guardian heals is 55 health per second. And that doesn't change whether or not you get more health or less health. But the fact that they have a um, you know, 50% physical damage reduction means that the health that you get if, with the upgrade is essentially doubled um, from what you know it normally would be. With that being said, let's just jump into the upgrades. Let's check them out. 
First one is increased health. It's by 350, taking it from 2,000 to 2,350. And then, so that's, that's not very much at all. Um, and then the secondary cooldown is minus five seconds. Uh, so all that information is here on the wiki page. Um, health is 2,000. When health is depleted, moves back to his pad and, you know, 55 health a second till full and then rejoins the fight. Um, <clears throat> shows here that uh, I had put... I think I accidentally saw the coin cost and added the 350 to that. It's actually the 2350 because it's 2,000 health. I'm a goof. Um, the damage primary, 35 to all enemies in three squares arc within uh, 2.3 squares to three square range of where he's at. The secondary is a 120 damage to all enemies in a two square wide line, uh, four to five squares in length. Um, and so if we open up our paint thing it, it goes like this okay so these are like i mean not exact but if you imagine if you imagine this and then in the middle is the lightning so this would this is kind of how it how it shoots out i actually um i think it's a little tighter than this it's like not as much overlap um, but essentially if an enemy is over here, and you, maybe you can't see that very well. Let me, <clears throat> some marker. If an enemy is like over here, uh, he's green. Or like down here, for example, in that middle space, it won't get affected. So it, it unfortunately misses a lot of things and it doesn't do it like directly in front of it. There is a gap if the, uh, if the dude's like over here. There's a gap between him and the first cast of the lightning. So if you have enough of them, they can spam it really good, which is one of the reasons why I may not run the the cooldown, because I just don't think the ability is really that useful um, if it hits at all, you know. Maybe the health is good. I don't know. You guys decide. Let me know if you uh, if you like the knight, if you use him. I'm pretty sure everybody has touched them, so we won't pull them up in game. But if you've used them before, let me know. If you like them, if you don't like them, let me know why, why not, in the comments below. Guys, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I stream on Twitch, upload to YouTube. And I'll catch you on the flip side. All right, deuces.